What's up? It's your boy Remus. And in this video, we're going to be speaking up about the danger in engaging with women who are draining you, who are draining your energy, who are draining your resources, who are just draining in general. Because what happens, I'm not going to lie, even though the feminine is supposed to be receptive, many women take that in the wrong way and say to themselves, well, does that mean he's just supposed to give, 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 and I just take, take, take? But actually, an empowered feminine woman, she does take, and then she reciprocates and gives back. Whatever you give her, she multiplies it and she gives it back. That's the natural order of things. But what we're seeing is that that doesn't, and is not the case for many um many women today because they're taking it and they're being in that toxic side of themselves where it's just taking 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 and never giving back so i want you to understand that you even though as the man as the masculine you are the giver you are the protruder you are the exerter you are the one that initiate things and pursues and you're putting that energy out first that initiating energy yes do that that's okay but you also have to look at your energy your Whatever resources you have, whether it be spiritual, metaphysical, physical, financial, whatever it is, whatever resource you value, it is limited. It is not an abundant supply of it. Your life force is limited. And this takes us onto the semen retention journey, which I think is powerful. And I think every man needs to at least experiment with it just so he can get an, a grasp of how important his energy actually is. Now, when it comes to semen retention, the reason why I like talking about that is because your balls are a good analogy of your energy. Your balls literally hold a certain amount of semen or whatever it is. And if you keep letting shots go, what happens? You notice that the first time, a lot will come out. You keep doing it, you keep coming, you keep coming, keep, keep coming. But what happens is, you know, you'll be shooting blanks and barely anything will be coming out. That is a very good analogy for what your energy is like. If you just keep giving it out, giving it out, giving it out, giving it out, you obviously drain yourself. This makes sense. So now that we know that your energy is limited, then that puts a value on it. You know, if it was just forever flowing, I guess perhaps you might, might make an argument that is very... Um, it's not that valuable, but it is valuable because you want to appreciate it as it's there, as you have a hold of it. Just like if I, if you had money, if you have a lot of it, you might just spend it like wh whatever. But if you knew you had a certain amount of money and you worked hard for it, you're going to say, you know what? I'm going to be intentional with every single expenditure that I'm engaged in. And actually I want it to be investments. So it takes us on to the next point of protecting your energy against women who are draining you, which is you have to simply stop giving it to women who don't deserve it. Just stop. Many men are complaining about what women are like, but still engaging with these women. I find this very interesting. So they're engaging with women who outside of the bedroom, outside of their looks, they don't really respect much, but you're, she's still good enough to somehow earn your energy, somehow earn you know, that life force, that sexual energy and so on. Just because she's pretty, it's not good enough. It's not good enough. You have to walk with that arrogance in you. You have to have a little, just a tiny bit of arrogance in you to say, oh, not good enough. No, she don't deserve my energy. Just the same way I said, if I gave you a limited amount of money and I said, hey, invest it, don't spend it. Be conscious of the expenditure that you're engaging in. You'd be like, mm, this investment isn't a good one. I'm not giving it. Mm, this one's a good one, so I'll give it. That's how you have to view situations with people and with women, for sure. Some women are the greatest investments you can make. And many, as you know, are terrible investments. In fact, they're not investments. There is no return on investment. There's just a loss. But don't think to yourself, hmm, she bad. Yeah, she 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 feels good in the bedroom, so I'm still going to give it to her. No, have that arrogance, have that royal nature, have that king mindset where you're like, no, she ain't good enough. She don't deserve it. She don't deserve this expenditure. She barely even deserves me touching her. She barely even deserves this conversation right now. You know? And then you have guys giving their entire life force, their semen, their cum to the woman. This is insane to me. You know, even if you are pursuing a woman, which of course most men are going to be doing, 
know that you can stop as soon as you see that this is a bad investment. The same way, again, if you was in a business deal, you was learning about it, talking to whoever it was who is involved in the business deal. If you learned that this situation isn't going to be good and a good investment, you would simply stop and you would pull out of the deal. You could go up to a woman, think she's pretty and think she had cool energy. You're speaking to her for five minutes and then you realize, actually, this is a waste of time. I used to be like this where I would just still, you know, say, hey, let's exchange numbers. Let's continue this on, even though she's not even giving me the energy that warrants that attention. And this is how you waste time. Eventually, I had to tell myself, I said, just just because I'm the man and just because I went up to you doesn't mean I'm, I'm now... Um, guaranteed to continue this on. I had to learn to actually say, even if I went up to her and found her attractive, after speaking to her and finding out, mm, she's not where I expected or hoped for her to be, I can let her know, you know, it's okay, you know, nice speaking to you and move on. You don't have to be bad about it, but you can just keep it moving. I actually had to learn that, you know, because I always felt a bit guilty, like I'm going up to the girl finding out that I don't like her that much. And then almost like I felt bad for the girl. So I was like, oh, let me just still try to, still try to give her that pursuing energy, even though she didn't deserve it, just because I'd started it. And then I realized I don't have to do that. I can stop, <laughs> you know, it's, it's so simple, but it is actually so empowering too. And many women know this anyway. If you meet a woman and she likes you at first, but you're not up to her standard, a week later or five hours later or two days later, she just won't reply to your messages. She knows the importance of conserving that energy because women are a bit more selective. But as a man, you can be selective too because if you continue giving your energy to that woman, you could have put that in a business. You could have put that into working out. You could have put that into reading. You could have put that into actually pursuing other women who are more worth the energy. You could have put that into writing down our ideas you could have put that down, put that into learning or building on a skill and talent that you have, you know? So look at it like that. Everything you're pouring yourself into has to be worth it. It has to be an investment. So this is what I want you to take away. Be stingy with undeserving women, but be generous and overflowing with a woman who deserves it. So with the woman who is undeserving, who doesn't reciprocate energy, who isn't and doesn't know her feminine value, you know, she isn't feminine, don't be pouring your life force into her. Don't be pouring your energy into her. She doesn't deserve it. But the type of woman who knows the power of her femininity, who wants to gift that to you, who is going to be, you know, devoted to you or she's serious about the interaction she has with you, whether it be serious, casual, short term, long term, it really doesn't matter. But there's an energy that she's supposed to give to you. There's a focus that you're supposed to feel from her. If she isn't willing to give that to you, you are wasting your time. And that is not an investment of your energy. You are spending it on a liability. And this is the type of mindset that you have to have. Everything about your energy, your DNA, you know, that you shoot out when you are intimate with a woman, every piece of it is supposed to be conserved and then invested. And if it's not an investment, just try to conserve it because you will invest it in something else, which is worth it. Anyway, I want to know what you think, right? So comment down below, let Remus know, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.